We came into the sort of nutrition uh, landscape uh, through an invitation by the Prime Minister at that time, uh, the Right Honourable Nahasan Gula. And he was concerned at that point in time that uh, as Namibia we were not meeting our Millennium Development Goals. And um, around uh, uh, addressing uh, malnutrition. And uh, he invited us to help him think it through and to, uh, to really see in what way could we address uh, the issue of malnutrition. Uh, what we realized very quickly is that uh, we didn't know much about nutrition at that point in time and, and in fact he himself had a fairly narrow definition and understanding of, of nutrition. So we then brought in a number of key partners who helped us broaden the understanding of nutrition and, um, and, and to then unfold the complexity of this particular issue. And then through that, um, we started working on this. And well, in the process, we recognized at quite an early stage that what was needed was a multi-stakeholder platform that could address uh, malnutrition in the country. Nutrition has got to do with many elements. And one of the elements within nutrition, basically, I think it's the food that we need to take in, the management of our diets, the type of the food that we need to eat, number one. And number two, I think it also look at issues how we can basically source the food that we are supposed to be eating, how we should acquire the food that we are supposed to be eating, and also handling the specific food that we are supposed to be eating, and also different ways of putting the food into our, like making specific choices or decisions in terms of what we are putting into our, our body as a system which is supposed to be nutritious or healthy and not consuming a lot of issues like alcohol or eating a lot of food that will be detrimental to our, our body, like taking in a lot of fat and so forth. So it's a whole dimension of different aspects when it comes to nutrition. Well, this project is about addressing a number of things that you mentioned earlier, that um, challenges that malnutrition uh, presents. Um, meaning that people are not nutrition, not nourished well enough and especially in the first thousand days of a human life that severely impacts our potential as human beings in terms of our um, physical, our emotional and also our mental capacity of, of how we can develop, who we can be. The main agenda of the project is to advocate for nutrition. So the approach is to involve uh, whether it's bottom-up approach or top-bottom approach, it does not matter. But looking at from the community side as well as from the national side. Um, personally, my role is to coordinate the activities that um, the project is doing. We are uh, a one-year project. Uh, we started end of last year and we are currently operating exactly at the time where government is revising or reviving the Food uh, and Nutrition Security Council. Um, it's also reviving and relooking the, at the policy, the national policy for food and nutrition security. And together with that, an action plan is being developed. Mm -hmm. So our project is aiming at getting civil society and academic together in order to uh, inform that plan and to support the implementation of that plan later on. Well, the project is uh, active in two particular regions. The one is the Comas region here in, in and around Windhoek, and the second one is the Inaheka region. Um, the reason why we chose those two regions is that they are firstly close together and at the same time they're representing the two different nutrition challenges that we have. The one is nutrition challenges in uh, rural areas and Omaheka has actually quite some of those challenges and lots of cases of malnutrition or undernutrition and the same also with uh, the urban areas like in Windhoek uh, where even yesterday in the newspapers there was a case um, of malnutrition and the baby died actually um, and three of, of, of its siblings are, are still suffering of the effects of that malnutrition. Um, so that's just one of many incidences and extreme incidences where 
even in urban areas, nutrition um, is a major problem. And it's not just what you eat or what you drink, but it's also the living conditions in terms of water, sanitation, um, and also other, other aspects around it. For instance, how much um, maternity leave do, do we as a country give uh, to women? Or can fathers also become supportive in the first years of a child um, and maybe have something like paternity leave? So all of these surrounding policies and support mechanisms um, or looking at a basic income grant for instance and so forth are aspects that do impact um, nutrition. Mm -hmm. So in this project we really want to get all of these different stakeholders together and by working in those particular two regions we want to gain some um, experiences also on the ground to see how that can then impact um, the whole nation and how it can be possibly scaled up. What we are forgetting in terms of nutrition is to whatever is really available for the person at that particular moment in time. Because now we can't be saying uh, you should be going buying food in the supermarkets maybe on an expensive price or always eat five different types of fruits in a day. You know with our economic system at the moment, um, what we are trying to look at is to, to complement into Sui what are the people, uh, what are the food types that the people can afford which are at their reach that they can really take in. So it depends um, whether it's traditional food, merely maybe beans that they can grow or, or basic clean water that they can also take in. So whatever is available. But if you have money or for those who can really afford to maintain their diets, we'll advise them really to go beyond and you know, manage their diets by, you know, either they are growing their vegetables and fruit or they can perhaps acquire it from supermarkets um, in a controlled diet environment. If we look at, um, at our rural communities and malnutrition in these communities, which tend to be relatively high, uh, my, my sense would be that uh, we still have a lot of work to do around food security. But just remembering that food security is only one element of malnutrition that has to be addressed. Um, you might achieve some form of food security, but if you don't address issues of clean water, of sanitation, um, of um, some of the, the dangers of the first thousand days of young, you know, of young children in terms of uh, being properly nourished and, uh, and fed and supported, uh, you, your, your chances of achieving uh, low malnutrition rates are, are fairly difficult. So, um, well, the budget is allocated and we are trying to, trying to work according to, to the allocation within that budget of the United Nations and uh, locally with Sanibos Institute as well and also driving the model through the global movement for scaling up nutrition. We're not an organization that is um, that is, um, let's say, issue specific or experts. We are process managers, so we work with various institutions to solve these complex problems. The complexity of malnutrition, the importance of it in Namibia was identified by our colleagues in the Ministry of Health and by the, the Prime Minister at that time. So it wasn't something we chose, but it was something that was chosen by our colleagues working in, in these areas. And they, um, and, the, and they were then able to bring the content knowledge into the con conversation. What we could help them with is to build up a platform uh, to convene people from different sectors to come together and, um, and really to set an agenda of working together um, on, on, the, on, on this particular approach. I must say at this point as well is that we had incredible support from UNICEF particularly in the early days, and, and constantly actually, in, um, in, in helping work towards building up this platform. So it really was a joint effort between a number of actors um, that uh, were able to put in place a, a, an approach to addressing uh, malnutrition in the country. Nutrition as I understand it, it was really just food and maybe people who are hungry, starving from hungry, but uh, 
the term has become broad to me. It, I have come to understand that it contains health, it contains protection, it contains uh, everything that is is concerning your health and your body building. Introduce us nutrition that is all about our health, how to maintain our community, to have a healthy community, to eat healthy, to know our uh, way forward, how to solve malnutrition in our region. I get very good to learn and I get I verlang on my mensen dat gaan om dit vir my mense te gaan oorsê en hoe moet hulle lewe in hierdie wêreld om gesond te eet om die liggaam gesond op te bou en om gesond die babakies te kry het ek kom geleer half it's so, it's social health and it's etc etc and i come to to myself that we must do whatever we can do in our capacity to serve to help the community there outside who is starving to do whatever we can do in our might and to link with the various stakeholders.